Next adjustment, accrued income. Accrued income. What is an accrued income? Income which has been earned but not received. What is accrued income? Income earned, earned but not received. But not received. Income earned but not received. If we take an example, let us take interest income. It is possible that the bank pays us interest only on a specific date. Maybe the bank gives us interest only on 30th June. And let us say interest for the year ended up to 30th June amounts to, again for ease of calculation, I am taking an amount of 1200. So, 1200 is our interest income from 1st July to 31st to 30th June. This is our interest income. But this will be paid to us payable by the bank only on 36th. So, what is the total interest income? 1200 for the period July to June. When we close our books on 31-3, we find no income has been received. However, we have earned income, earned income from July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February and March for 9 months. So, on 31 3, 900 rupees must be taken as income, must be credited as income. But money has not come in, therefore it is a receivable. The account involved is called accrued income. So we have a receivable called accrued income debit to income account, to interest income account to interest. What is the amount involved? 900 for the current year. 900 for the current year. So what is this accrued income account where income has been earned but not received? Again, this is a representative personal account. In this example of ours, it represents the account of the bank from whom interest is to be received. Accounting entry, like we said, at the end of the year, bring it into the books since it is income. Therefore, increase income, credit income and debit the receivable account, asset account, accrued income account debit to interest. If accrued income already appears in the balance sheet, it is nothing but an asset and is taken to the asset side of the balance sheet. Accrued income. Sham has an investment in 10% debentures of XYZ Limited amounting to 1,20,000. So 10% debentures would mean 10% of 1,20,000, 10% of the face value of the value of the investment that is 12,000. The date of payment of interest on the debentures is 31st December. Sham closes his books on 31st March. What would be the adjusting entry in the books of Sham for the outstanding interest income as at 31st March? So what has happened is the debenture interest income would have been received up to 31st December because the company pays interest on 31st December. After 31st December, January, February and March, the interest for these three months we will not receive. We will not receive till it is 31st December. So what is the interest for these three months? Let us see. It is 10% of 1,20,000 for three months. How much is this? This would be 3,000. This 3,000 income is accrued but not yet received. So what is the accounting entry? Income has to increase on one side. Therefore, we will credit income, interest income and what shall we debit? We will debit the company's account 
actually we debit the accrued interest account. The account is called accrued interest account. Represents the company who has issued the debentures. It is a representative personal account. So what will be the entry? The entry will be accrued interest account debit. Three thousand to interest. So income increased, accrued income, receivable increase. This would be the adjusting entry in the books of Shyam for outstanding interest income as on thirty first March.